Welcome back to Terror by the Bay. I'm David. I'm going to title this one Mary Lou Take Two. Um, I'm going to, to retry, reattempt this Mary Lou Retton reading. I had one up um, on uh, Thursday morning. Uh, I went to uh, pause the video to do a little more research on her. And instead of pausing it, I ended up talking with my wife instead. We do that, you know, around here. And it's like, oh, God, <laughs> rookie. So I deleted the video and I'm going to give it another go. Um, to sum up the previous video, what I remember of it, um, she a lot of twos came up. Two of wands, two of swords. Um, she's in a very trans transition period right now. This is probably one of her uh, uh, life exit points. And um, you know, it's up to her if, if she wants to leave. Has she done enough? Uh, she's probably met most of her life mission, if not all of it. Now it's kind of like you're going to stay around for another go with it. Um, the devil card came up in the past, and I wasn't sure what that was. But I think what that is now, after reading more of the story, is the fact that she doesn't have any health insurance. And so, you know, these medical bills, she's finding pneumonia. It's a rare form of pneumonia, and she's not breathing on her own. So I'm assuming she's on a vent. And, you know, these it's going to be expensive. And so they've crowdfunded uh, over $250,000. One donor um, who was a, um, uh, donated $50,000 to it. The... The U.S. Olympic and Paralympic uh, Committee is looking to get money for her. So a lot of people are reaching out uh, to Mary Lou Retton. So I want to do a follow-up reading on her condition and then a spiritual reading because I suspect this is one of those things to call attention to um, like universal health care. That, you know, here's a face, here's a, a beloved American in a time where we're all divided back in 94. In 1984, she was uniting Americans, becoming the first woman to win the um, the overall floor, the overall uh, Olympic gold for gymnastics. So, Mary Lou Retton, what's the current story? What's the current uh, spirit? What is the current situation with her illness? Entertainment purposes only. Things are progressing slowly but surely. What's progressing here? Um, <sighs> borrowed time. It's kind of what I'm getting. She's on borrowed time right now. Um, and probably because the, the vent, she would have died. If she's not, if she wasn't on the ventilator, she would be dead right now. So right now she's kind of on borrowed time. <clears throat> and, you know, it's, um, I was talking, again, I was talking about her being America's sweetheart. And that's how she was dubbed back in 1984. America's sweetheart. She was 16 years old. She was, she was cute. She had uh, the most enormous smile you've ever seen. And she was just so happy and laughs a lot. And was, she was just sun, pure sunshine embodied in a, in a little <laughs> Olympic gymnastic body. And you know, this, this is her being beloved in this country. Again, in a time where we're all divided, that was one person we could all rally around. Didn't matter. Doesn't matter if you like Trump or not. You know, we all loved Mary Lou. So in the past, we've got the moon card. Okay, so um, no, she's been active. So I don't think this is like her her falling out of the spotlight. I think this is more her getting sick and um, the family. You know, she had pneumonia, but I don't think that anybody knew how bad this was. And again, it's a very rare strain. So I think this is kind of like that rare strain of uh, pneumonia just came up out of nowhere. It was very unexpected. And impacting her now. <laughs> Current situation. Five of Pentacles. Um, the family is raising money for her. So that they can pay these medical bills for her. Because she doesn't have insurance. I don't think many people knew she didn't have insurance. She didn't have insurance. And this could have left her destitute. Now, yesterday I, I did throw out there that I did look up her net worth was like $2 million. And some people were asking, well, that's a lot of money. Why do they need to crowdfund? Well, $2 million, depending where you live, is a lot of money. <laughs> Be a, a homeowner in California. Um, you know, uh, $2 million could be tied up in real estate, like you know, the family home that she's living in. It could be tied up in retirement funds. Um, it could be tied up in a business venture that she has. So her net worth might be $2 million, but she may not be very liquid 
because the money's tied up in businesses and houses and stuff like that. So, um, you know, does, does she have to sell the house she lives in to pay her medical bills? Does she have to sell her business or dissolve her business to do that? That's kind of why they're they're doing this right now. And, um, you know, it gives us the opportunity to be generous to somebody who gave us something, you know, 50 years ago. Was it 50 years ago? 40 years ago. <clears throat> Overarching situation. Moving from choppy waters to calmer shores. Okay, I think part of this is them raising the money is is bringing the energy down to the family. The anxiety, you know, between the $250,000 and the crowdfunding and the Olympic Committee offering to help, I think that is calming down the energy of the family. And that might help out this situation right here with her. Lesson to be learned is judgment. Again, and this could also be Mary Lou going away. She, I think overall, she's not out of the woods yet, and she gets to choose if she's staying or going. And you can think of this as, you know, going to the kingdom of God. And, you know, whatever whatever you believe in the afterlife, whatever uh, deity you want to believe in, this would be her um, deciding with her deity, her council of elders, whoever, on what she's going to do in the future. And then we have that judgment card again. This is the same card that came out, I believe, on that last reading. Um, I think she's going to pass. I, I, but, okay, I think she's going to pass, but it's her choice. It's going to be her choice to make. Um, yesterday when I was reading it, and I got all those twos. And all those twos to me were showing that, you know, it's it's her choice, it's her choice, it's her choice. Ultimately, what she decides with this person is going to lead to whether or not she stays or, or goes. Um, my inclination is to say, I think she's going. And I, don't, I take no joy in that. Mary Lou has been uh, an amazing person for this country. And I, I looked I, I looked her up because I was trying to figure out what that double was yesterday. The whole thing I, I was pausing was like, you know, did she have depression issues? Because you know, she comes across so happy and cheerful that maybe there's underlying depression that's masking that. No, there's never been any article discussing underlying uh, depression with her. And when I looked up like depression to Mary Lou Retton, the only hits I had were websites that were that are like, you know, news sites that were talking about Mary Lou Retton and then there's a hyperlink story next to it about depression. You know, it wasn't it wasn't linked to her. It was just, you know, if you're reading this, there's three hyperlinks on the right that you can click on for your next story you want to see. So she she appears to be everything that we think that she is. You know, she's exuberant, she's cheerful, she's a motivational speaker. Um, I think she's had a very blessed life and she probably appreciates that. Now, spiritually, what's the spiritual lesson we're supposed to be uh, that uh, we're supposed to be learning from her experience? It's because I'm looking at this from a, you know, we're watching an, an icon. We're watching a beloved person go through something that could hit any of us right after we're out of a pandemic. And while one of the political parties wants to cut funding to healthcare, what's the lesson we're supposed to take away from this? Going forward with offers of friendship, of charity. I'm going to just do a four carter. Let's see. Um, we've got battling, battling coming out on top. There's the chariot progressions, things you can't, it progresses, but there, you can't control that progression. The progression happens. All or nothing. And this, this card came up yesterday. Okay, so it's, she was an emotional ambassador to the U.S. again from uh, the Olympics. When, um, when she won her gold medal in the Olympics, it really opened up commercially. It opened up the world to her, and that often happens with U.S. Olympic champions, she, uh, a fem no, uh, women figure skaters, and women gymnastics, especially. 
Uh, if you're if you're Bruce Jenner and you do something remarkable like you know oh, I don't know <laughs> win the decathlon for the first time for the U.S. or Michael Phelps you know winning a gazillion gold medals you become iconic. But she was iconic and she became an ambassador of goodwill um, to the U.S. and um, she was a force in doing that because of her successes and her struggles in overcoming it and. It's, you know, the Five of Swords, it's not so much the ego as much as with the Olympics, it really is a winner takes all. If she was a silver medalist, nobody would remember who she was. It's just the way it is. If she was a silver medalist, nobody would remember what she what she was. But she she persevered. <coughs> she won and she became uh, an ambassador. Uh and, you know, she thought about what she wanted to do with the world. And I think she did a lot of good in this world. Now, if we look at her illness in such, like for us, it's going out and doing what we can to make those connections with people. Because life is going to go on with us. And we can't control what happens. We can only control how we react to things. We can battle and, and try and stay on top of things. Or we can just be in it for ourselves. And the choice is yours. How do you want to do this? Do you want to battle and help others? Or are you in it for yourself? How do you want to have the world view you? So, okay. Mary Lou, I still don't know what's going to happen. Um, I'm not overly optimistic again. But you know what? Okay, I shouldn't say I'm not over optimistic. What I am is... I'm going to stick with what I saw yesterday. Nothing I saw today changes that. I really think she's in a transition period of her life. And it's her choice if she stays or goes. Okay, entertainment purposes only. Thank you everyone for watching the take two of this video. Uh, thank you for supporting my channel and doing everything you do to feed the YouTube algorithm beast. So my video makes it out to more and different viewers. And to the new viewers to the channel, welcome. I hope you found this reading insightful. And I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.